Like, I'll give you a few themes. Let's have selected five uh, sectors. IT, Pharma, uh, BFSI, Banking, uh, then there is FMCG, and let's say Steel or Infra. How do you diversify in all those five themes? Um, so um, Infra is cyclical. Uh, you, you cannot have too much of concentration there, right? So you've got to be mindful of that. Currently it is doing really well, so it's an up cycle. So maybe you take advantage of that and keep a slightly higher allocation. IT went through a bit of a issue. I hear most people telling that at some point of time in the next six months, uh, this could change dramatically. People are, companies are winning orders. So maybe uh, the good part of the IT cycle as well as the pharma cycle is up ahead of us. So maybe that's a good one. FMCG, um, so, I mean, yeah, maybe act from here on, maybe a higher allocation to IT and pharma. Mm -hmm. FMCG is a bit of a, a tricky one in that uh, inflationary expectations are still not coming down. You don't know how much of growth could come in. These companies mm -hmm. are not cheap under any stretch of imagination. So you've got to be careful with your allocation there. What is the fifth sector that you told me? Steel. Steel. Um, well, uh, it, the companies are very confident of demand if Indian infrastructure demand is going to grow, which looks very likely. And if you are believing in the infrastructure cycle, then you've got to believe in steel offtake as well. The joker in the pack out there is China. If China mm. decides to stimulate, then steel prices inch up. I would reckon sentiment around steel stocks also inches up. But if you just hear the commentary from the steel companies, they are very constructive. Maybe not a bad bet. If you like such clips from my podcast, hit that subscribe button for more such content and I hope I can bring more value to you.